so the first thing I'm doing as always is priming the eye area just to make sure that our shadows go on nice and smoothly and also to ensure that they last the entire day without creasing up or smudging. Next then I'm taking this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Chickadee and I'm using a large fluffy blending brush to work this down on the outer third of the lid and then also across into the crease of the eye. And I'm using this shade as my transition shade so I'm just adding a couple of layers of the shadow building it up until I'm happy with the intensity. Now I'm taking this matte green eyeshadow from Inglot and I'm applying this in the same manner as the shade previous, just not taking the shadow up as high in the crease. Now I used to use a lot of Inglot back in the day, I have tons of their shadows. This one I forgot actually isn't so great, you have to layer it quite a bit to get any sort of colour payoff. But it looks grand in the end, it's just a little bit time consuming, so use whatever matte green you have in your collection. Next then I'm using one of my favourite drugstore eyeshadow palettes, the Sleek Ultra Mattes Volume 2 palette and I'm using that deep green now to add some depth to this look and as you can see already there's absolutely no comparison between this and the previous shadow. You can see the quality of the Sleek one is much superior, it's so much more pigmented and it just blends easier. Once I'm happy then with the blend of that shadow, I'm going in with a full coverage concealer. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. It's fantastic for the price and I'm using this to cut the crease. So I'm going for a half cut crease today. I'm sweeping this halfway across the eye and I'm just using the applicator to carve out the crease today just because it's a little quicker, I find anyway. Going back to my sleek palette now, I'm taking this matte white and I'm using a flat seashade brush to really pack that colour on the lid area anywhere that I applied the concealer. Then I'm going back to my fluffy blending brush, picking up some more of that light green eyeshadow and I'm sweeping over where the dark green and white meet just to make sure the transition there is a little smoother. When I was in Brussels I popped into Kiko and I picked up this gorgeous green glitter eyeshadow for this look especially and I'm using a C-shaped brush now just to pat a little of that down on the outer third of the eye over that deep green. Moving on to the lower lash line now I'm picking up some of this deep shimmery orange on my small bullet shaped brush and I'm sweeping this down along the lower lash line. And as always I'm taking my time with the shadow adding a little then blending and then when I'm happy I'm reapplying the shadow and blending again. To really make that orange pop now I'm going in with a brighter shade of orange and I'm sweeping this just in the lash line only and if you have blue eyes this is really going to make them stand out. Next then I'm lining my waterline with probably my all time favourite shade of the Urban Decay Glide on eye pencils. This is Torch and judging by the size of it I use it a lot. Again if you've got blue eyes this is your friend. One of the final things I like to do to really amp up the overall look is to add a black to really define the eye makeup look. So I'm just using a pencil brush to really carefully apply some of this black eyeshadow to the outer third of my eye and I'm gradually making my way across the crease. You don't want to go ham with the black, you literally just want to add a very small amount of depth with it. I'm going ahead now and applying some of the peony lashes from Kiss which you've seen me do a thousand times. Then I'm using this pigment from Inglot, I tapped a little into the lid, then pressed my brush into the pigment and now I'm applying it around the tear duct and because I worked it into the brush I don't need to use a set and spray and I don't need to worry about fallout. Finally then to blend my own lashes in with the false ones I'm using the Lancome Hypnos Mascara and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you have a wonderful and safe Paddy's Day whatever you may be doing and I'll chat to you all soon.